Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Solar Gene. Just a quick recap on what we've done. There were a couple of rooms I didn't realise. Obviously the doors were on the opposite side, which I just made an adjustment of them. Um, I've also added some vending machines to our uh, corridor, just beds as well for people that can just drop on them. Um, I'm not sure why people are dropping on these beds because obviously we have assigned all of the rooms to people. Oh, there is one that didn't have a room. That may be why he's... Is that him? Yeah, that is him. He wasn't assigned. Must have been when I moved one of the beds. That's no issues. He is now assigned. Next thing that I want to do is I've just removed this top section of this here because the next thing I want to do is I want to work on on our up-to-date facility for medical. I'm going to do this from uh, where we've currently got our established um, area that we've just basically set up. Um, so let's go ahead and set that up there. So at the moment, we haven't got enough room, as we can see. But I do want to have it a quite a nice room um, because it's going to be medical. But we still want it kind of private, but not too private. Um, we also want good temperature. As a matter of fact, we want it very sterile. Like, oh, that's, yeah. Go ahead for this nice little white. Over here. Not enough material. What we short on? We're short on oh, uh, high temperature structural materials. Have we got something to build in them? I don't think we do. We may have to order some more of them. Unless we actually do a different... We'll do a different material. That doesn't require that. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, this should do. In fact, we can forego the steel completely. Not enough materials. What are we short on now? We're short on non-ferrous metals. I think all of these are going to need. Oh, no, they don't. Some just need steel. Right, fine. We'll go for that. That'll have to do. Okay, so this is our new medical facility and we're going to have the door on this entrance here uh, which door we're we going to go for i want a nice um this door in. there we go so this is going to be our entrance in so we want to keep the entrance way nice and clear um i do want a very sterile facility have a look what we've got i think the, that one there will be quite nice yes there we go oh look at that Oh, that's because it's medical. Yep, that's fine. Um, so obviously, we don't have much in the way of stuff for medical. But I'm going to take up all of this area here. We want it nice and spread out. We don't want to, like... Yeah, so we're going to do one, two medical uh, facilities... Then gonna block off each one with them there. Then we'll just do another corner one. We'll do one on the either side. That should still get there we go, that's nice. We also need medical beds. So we'll then do this side here with some beds. And again, I want to have plenty of room for the beds. Do so, I think they might not be spaced out properly, actually. Let's do that, that, and then that. There we go, four beds. Medicine cabinets. That'll do there. Another medicine cabinet can go 
Yeah, which way is that facing? Actually, no, that can be for the... Oh, actually, there's ones on the walls, so... There we go. Medicine cabinets. I think that's all we've really got for the medical room. Um, so now what we can do is, is we can actually remove this. Um, unassign these staff here and assign them to our new room. Now everything in here can be removed. There we go. Wanted to delete it, not remove move it. You're being highly annoying, well, please. I have to find a specific location. There we go. Right, and now what we can do is we can completely remove the medical bay. Go. Medical bay has now been completely removed. So now that leaves us with a couple of choices. Um, we can, if we want to, um, I'm just going to place a little hallway here that, that has external doors. We can actually expand our recreational area now if we want to, but obviously we're going to be working on some various things with this. Um, I may put the recreational on here. Nice big recreational area here. I haven't decided yet, but well, we can start removing some of this stuff now. Um, but first of all, we need beds for everybody. Let's go ahead and what we got shot on. Rest on veg. Okay. Go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put them away from the door this time. People can get into them. Go. Beds in every room. We don't have to be accurate. Beds get moved around all the time. Bloody hell, that's bright. Okay. That's the beds done. Let's get some cabinets in there. Cabinets are the right way around. That makes a change. I'm going to put the cabinets here because then they're out of the way. Rotate them around. Go. Perfect. All right, let's see if we can get any toilet facilities in these bathroom. I don't think technically we need bathrooms, but it's still nice to have them. I like that immersion. Go. It's going to need to go away from the door. Didn't put a thing in there. That might block the door. See if that blocks the door or not. We'll see how that goes. Okay. 
All of them, but them two have. Look at the table on each of them. There we go. Right. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve beds we can remove from here now, just in case. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I believe that was twelve. Then we can assign staff. Right, assign a staff. Yep. Everybody can be assigned a new room. Five. Got a couple of rooms over here as well. Go. Perfect. Have more staff with their own rooms. Okay. Make sure everything's right for what we want. The only thing now it's basically here i'm going to put my new oh yeah my new cuisine because it's going to go all the way along here for the new cuisine basically but that now leaves us with some more space go How's that looking in there? Still got plenty of room. Excellent. We can actually move these now to here. Just place them anywhere. And we should be able to now remove that next lot of sections. And we can. Excellent. There we have it. That's our new medical bay done. And we're now looking at our recreation. Uh, sorry, our um, new cuisine. Because at the moment we've only got this little sliver here. So let's go ahead and... Uh, have the standard type there. And we want... So I think what I want is a corridor. And then one. I'm wondering if we can do like a dual thing. To have certain cuisines underneath. Or do we have it all the same layer? We'll have it all the same layer now. So we're going to need a platform here. Out just so it looks good. And then we want European cuisine. Now 
is that going to be big enough? That's the question. You kind of like that floor, but. I think. It should be big enough, I think. Let's have a look what we can get in it. Table for four people, we need plants. Get some tables for two. fit any in that corner there so what we'll do is we'll do a couple of single tables difference between a table and a bistro table but there we go and then we want let's just close that let's get a door Nice open door. That. And then we need close table with hot food. Okay. I think we'll have that. Oh, look at that. Pizza service table with showcase. Place that here. Here. Then we need an Italian pizza oven. Place a couple of them in here, like so. That's annoying. Okay, what we'll do it. We'll do it there and we'll move this one into the middle as well. Middle. Oh. Nope. So we've got two pizza ovens. And we got two pizza table service things. Uh, we need some plants at some stage, which we'll do. Uh floor lamps. Not sure which way they go, they go the other way. What do we just put some floor lamps in? Matter of fact, no, they go both ways. Let's chuck a couple of them in, just to add a bit of flair. There we go. Nicely lit room. Okay, right, let's uh, let's attempt to sign staff. Let's remove that staff. Sign staff, robot chef. We're going to need some more chefs. We'll order three more robots. Staff is unhappy. Why are staff unhappy? I need to go here and order three more robots anyway. Colonists are unhappy. <laughs> Needs European cuisine. Why are we not having European cuisine? We're missing water, hydrogen, and... I told us some water, that's probably what we're missing here. Buy some water. Absent. A lot of expense. We'll hire three cafe robots. Three. 
That should be our water coming in. There we go. All right, let's get you guys over to the Lunar ISS. Okay, people are starting to get happy again, so I'm presuming that's down to the food supply. Okay, where's my cuisine? Power plant recreation, European cuisine. It looks like he's need water, very sweet and fruit. Yeah, we got everything else. So it looks like it's just the water that we were short on, which we've now solved the issue of. They're burning through that at a ridiculous rate. Have we got? We've got an ice melter. But we can't keep up. Wow, that's... Concerning. That's just burnt through a lot of my water that I just had. We may need we may need another ice smelter. That should be okay. It shouldn't block it. As a matter of fact, we'll turn it turn that around. I mean, that was just in the. It can go that way, but it can't go. Oh, we'll do it. That should be fine. Shouldn't have an issue there. Um, right, how many people have we got assigned to this? We've got two people assigned to this, so. see how that goes right let's head over to the lunar iss let's get them robots down onto the surface and then that's going to be us for this episode i think moon colony moon colony There are literally bent tables, chairs right there. Move away from the door. Yeah, there you go. Could always just do it this way. Go. 
Can have no problems now. Inactive robot storage racks required. Oh, have we not put the storage racks? I thought we put the storage racks in. Robot maintenance. Oh, it's because I've got the other three robots in there. Well, they're heading down to the thing anyway, so... There we go. Right. You're also going to need some water in here, aren't you? We should be okay for now. Uh, we've got the bio waste storage there, that's fine. Okay. Sign on. Oh, we haven't, they haven't landed just yet. Come on, deploy them for me. Go. Assign new staff. All robots will feed them perfectly fine. Uh, we got storage racks, which should be more than enough for them, I think. May struggle. We'll have a look at it. A new farm. Didn't know we had a farm. Don't think we do. Right. So that now means we can remove all of this. Okay, excellent. So we can now make this something else. What else do we want to make it for now? I do not know. I think what we'll do is we'll just completely remove it for now. And we will make it hallway. First, you have to dismantle the door. Okay, are you happy now? Okay, there we go. Okay. So my large corridor that I initially wanted has now been provided for me. The other thing we need to do is the bio waste, which I will do. Um, we are actually keeping up with the bio waste, which is nice. Get rid of you. You produce a little bit of everything. Well, we can have artificial fish, artificial meat, which we don't need either of at the moment. Inactive storage rack required. Okay, so we do need one more inactive storage rack. There you go. Right. That's going to be us for this episode, I think. We uh, we just need to basically finish off what we've already been working on. Um, without burning all of our resources, which we haven't got much steel left. But yeah, we've done quite a lot. So, off camera, I'm just going to quickly whack the rest of the um, accommodation in. So it's all set. So we actually have that ready to go. Um, that's it. We don't need them. What we do need is to place them here. And then we know what we're working with then. So join me for the next episode where we will be going to more than likely expand the medical to where I want it. Medical goes to here. See, we've already got... 
there. We've also got room for our cuisines. Again, I'm not too worried about the cuisine floating because it's going to be connected. Um, we've got plenty of room. What I might do is, is because this is fully European right now, I think what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to expand this to just basically be two European cuisines. Or what I might do is I might do a European all the way down one side and then have like a four block for each one of the other ones. Uh, so we can at least provide, you know, some food for the other um, communities. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Let me know in the comment section if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or anything like that. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. And I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.